Are you struggling to find your business on Google Maps? You're definitely not alone. This is one of the top complaints I hear all the time. But here is the good news. There's usually a clear reason behind it. In this video, I'll walk you through eight of the most common reasons your business is not showing up. And more importantly, how to fix them. Plus, I'll reveal a critical error that a ton of businesses don't even know they're making. One that could keep you invisible for weeks, months, or even longer. If you're ready to finally show up where your customers are looking, let's get into it. Reason number one, you haven't fully claimed and verified your Google business profile. Okay, so a lot of people think that just setting up a Google business profile is enough. But it's not. Until you verify it, Google won't trust that your business is real and your listing won't show up on Google Maps or in search results. Think of verification as Google's way of saying, we've confirmed this business exists and we know where it's located. Without that green light, your business stays hidden. So here is what to do. Log into the Google account you use to create your profile. If it's not verified yet, you'll see a message saying your business is not visible to customers and you'll be prompted to start the verification process. Just go ahead and do it, it's a quick win. Verification usually takes up to five business days and you'll get a confirmation email once it's done. If it's been longer and you haven't heard anything, you can check your status using Google's verification tool. I've added the link in the description below. All right, that's one reason checked off the list. Let's move on to the next one. Reason number two, you're not using the right primary category. This might seem like a small detail, but trust me, it's a huge deal. Your primary category is how Google figures out what your business is actually about. And if you get this wrong, you'll either show up for completely irrelevant searches or not show up at all. Let me give you a quick example. Imagine you're a wedding photographer, but you've selected photographer as your primary business category. Sure, that's technically correct, but you're completely missing out on people searching specifically for wedding photography. And before you think, I'd never make that mistake, it actually gets trickier. Take dentists, for example. There are about eight different primary categories to choose from. But if most of your revenue comes from dental implants, should you just pick dentist or go with something more specific like dental implants periodontist. See the difference? So here is what to do. Head over to Google Maps and search for the exact service you want to be found for, the one that brings in the most money. Then check which businesses show up and what primary category they're using. That's the one Google connects with that keyword and that's the one you should be using too. All right, now that we've got the basics covered, let's move on to reason number three. You haven't optimized your Google business profile. Take a look at this. Here is a Google business profile that's fully optimized and here is one that clearly isn't. Now, be honest, which one do you think Google is more likely to show in search results? Exactly, the first one. And honestly, you can't blame Google for it. If you want to show up on Google Maps, your profile needs to earn that visibility. That means going beyond just claiming your listing. You've got to fully optimize it. Use all the right features, collect reviews, add secondary categories, post photos regularly, publish updates, list your services, the works. If you've only claimed your profile and left it half finished, don't be surprised if Google isn't putting you in front of customers. And really, why should they? Now, if you have done all of that and you're still not ranking as well as you should, it might be time for a deeper look. That's exactly what I offer a Google business profile audit service, where I'll personally review your listing and show you exactly what's holding you back and how to fix it. If that sounds like something you need, check out the link in the description for all the details. All right, let's keep going because this next one is a mistake I see all the time. Reason number four, your business isn't located within your target city's boundary. This one's a real eye opener for a lot of people. If someone searches for something like Physiotherapy Phoenix, Google is only going to show businesses that are actually located within Phoenix's city limits. So even if you're just down the road in Tempe and you work with clients in Phoenix all the time, it doesn't matter. If your business address isn't in Phoenix, Google's not putting you in those search results. And it's even tougher if you're a service area business that travels to customers like a plumber or an electrician. Of course, you'd love to show up in big cities like Phoenix because that's where the demand is. But without a real address in that city, Google just won't rank you for searches that include the city name. It's frustrating, but hey, that's how Google's local algorithm works. If you're not sure whether your business address falls inside the city limits, your targeting, here is how to check. Just go to Google Maps, type in the name of the city and hit search. Google will actually outline the boundaries of that city as it sees it right there on the map. 
If your address falls outside that area, well, unfortunately, the only real solution is to move your business or open a legitimate location in that city. Quick heads up before we move on to reason number five. I've noticed a lot of you watching my videos haven't hit that subscribe button yet, and that means you're probably missing out on some super useful tips I share all the time to help you grow your business. So if you're enjoying this content and want to keep getting more, now is the perfect time to subscribe and stay in the loop. Let's keep it rolling on to reason number five. You've removed your address from your listing. This one mainly applies to service area businesses. You know businesses that don't serve customers at a physical location, but instead travel to their clients like plumbers, electricians, or mobile massage therapists. According to Google's guidelines, if you're one of these businesses, you're not supposed to show your address. But let's be honest, many businesses still do it to try and rank higher. The problem, that's one of the fastest ways to get your listing suspended. And when your listing gets suspended, to get it reinstated, Google will force you to remove the address. Problem solved, right? Well, not really. Because here is the ugly truth. Listings without an address tend to rank way lower in Google Maps. And I'm not talking about a small drop, I mean falling completely off the map. So what's the solution? Get yourself a legitimate business address. Even if it's a tiny office, a hole in the wall somewhere, it's worth the investment. That address gives Google a physical location to anchor your listing and you'll stand a much better chance of showing up in a map pack. But having the right address isn't the end of the story. There's something else that flies under the radar for most business owners and it might just be the reason Google's not showing your listing. Reason number six. Someone has edited your listing without you even knowing. Yep, this is a thing, and it happens more often than you think. Google allows anyone to click that little suggest an edit option right from your business listing. And here is the crazy part. Unless you actively reject those changes, Google might just accept them by default. I know it sounds unbelievable, but it's true. Google's logic is that public input helps keep local information accurate and up to date. They believe people on the ground can report changes faster than business owners. Sounds good in theory, but here is the reality. This opens the door for abuse, especially from malicious competitors. Someone could suggest that your business is temporarily or permanently closed, move your location on the map, change your business hours, or even mess with your contact details. And all of that can seriously hurt your rankings and your bottom line. Now, I know it's frustrating and completely unfair, but hey, life's unfair, right? The good news is there's a way to protect yourself. There's a great tool from WhiteSpark that monitors your Google business profile for any changes. The second someone tries to mess with your listing, you'll get an alert and can reject those changes with one click. It gives you a total peace of mind and at just $1 a month, it's a no-brainer. Think about it. How much is a single new customer worth to your business? Probably way more than a dollar. So why risk losing your business when you can lock things down and stay in control? I've added the link to that tool in the description below if you want to check it out. All right, let's move on because even if you've secured your listing and protected it from unwanted changes, there's another reason why your listing may no longer show up on Google Maps. Reason number seven there's been a Google algorithm update. Now, this is one most people don't even think about. Google's algorithms are incredibly complex systems designed to sort through massive amounts of data and deliver the best possible results for every search. Back in the day, Google made just a handful of updates each year, but now they're rolling out hundreds, sometimes thousands of changes every year. Most are minor and go completely unnoticed. The tricky part? Google doesn't exactly send you a nice email letting you know. So if your rankings suddenly tank and you have no idea why, this could very well be the reason. Here is how you stay ahead of this. There's a free tool called Local Rank Flux by Bright Local, and it's the only tool out there that tracks ranking fluctuations specifically for Google business profiles. They monitor daily movements across over 14,000 keywords and can show you if there's been a major spike in ranking activity over the last seven days. If you check and see a big spike and it lines up with the timing of your listing disappearing, there's a strong chance a major algorithm update is behind it. Even better, you can subscribe to their free email alerts and stay one step ahead. That way, if Google rolls out another update, you'll be among the first to know before it impacts your business. I've dropped the link to this tool as well in the description below if you want to check that out. And if you take a look at this tool and there's no sign of an algorithm update, but your listing is still not showing up, well, stick around because that's probably down 
to the next reason we're about to cover. Reason number eight, your Google business profile is filtered out. Yep, this is that critical mistake I mentioned right at the start. The one that can make your business completely disappear from Google Maps for weeks or even months. And the worst part, you probably won't even realize is happening. Here is how it works. If your business shares the same address and same primary category as other businesses, Google will often filter you out. It's super common with things like office buildings full of lawyers or using lawyer as their primary category or realtors using the same brokerage address. Google's goals is to show variety, not five identical businesses in the same location. And before you ask, no, adding a suite number won't fix this. Google still treats this at the same place. So how do you break out of the filter? The easiest way to stand out is by changing your primary category. For example, instead of using the broad lawyer primary category, switch to something more specific like family lawyer or personal injury lawyer. That small tweak could be all it takes to pop back up in the results as long as no other business is using this already. But hey, if there's no other category option for your business, you're left with one solution. And I know you're not going to like it. You'll need to move your business to a different location where you're not competing directly at the same address. Tough, yep. But sometimes that's exactly what it takes to get your business back on the map, literally. All right, there you have it. Remember, showing up in local search isn't about luck. It's about understanding how the system works and making smart, strategic moves to put your business right where your customers are looking. And hey, if you're still stuck and want a professional eye on your Google Business Profile, you can reach out to me using the link in the description below. In the meantime, if you really want to know what it takes to dominate local search, check out this next video where I share what I learned after optimizing over 500 Google Business Profiles. Trust me, you don't want to miss this one.